Alright, by this time, the last video of um, Crusader Kings 2 has gone up. And this is basically the first uh, conversion, which I would consider basically a rough draft. And I, I did a little bit of other things in the um, in Crusader Kings 2 itself. Now, I want to leave the last final part of the map, of the final draft of the map, a surprise. But I'm going to show you a couple things on how I fixed some problems. Now, the biggest problem, as far as I see, is that we're too big. The Persian Empire is too big. Uh, this is probably what, I don't know, I would say would be a good estimation of what we should be at at the end of EU4. Now that's not to say that I'm going to get rid of all of it, no. Uh, I think the most realistic thing to go for, and what a lot of people, well, a couple of people have told me that I should do, is just to keep the core of the, the Persian Empire together so I might do that um, but there's going to be a lot of people who are either independent or vassals or something like that and most of the people who hate me uh, who, have con who are constantly trying to get independence are going to be independents and the other people are going to be vassals and of course you can't have too many vassals or you will you know have problems with your uh, stuff but you know having problems is kind of the point there's a huge problem with just base conversion, though. Um, and that's this. It put us in the Western Tech Group. Um, that's... That's very bad. <laughs> to say the least. Because, um... And it has us having an empire. As our, uh... Our government type, which is fine. Um... It's not that much more powerful than anything else. But this is very bad. Uh, I thought it would convert us as the Ottoman tech group because we had this stuff. And normally, um, if I did it earlier in the game, that was the case. But because I apparently had so much tech in my domains, uh, in my domain provinces, it put us in the Western tech group. Which is odd, because if we convert as not having Constantinople, it puts us in the Muslim tech group. Or the Ottoman tech group, I can't remember. Um, I, th I think it was the Ottoman tech group, now that I think about it. Um, but anybody who has Constantinople will be in the Western tech group, which is funny because, you know, Tigris... Or, yeah, I guess in this, would be Iraqi Arab, which would be both Tigris and um, uh, Baghdad, would be what it would be based on, but apparently not. That, that would make you Western. Um... There's a, there's a couple other problems with the map. There's a lot of weird culture things. Um, that I want to fix just to make things um, a bit more balanced. Um, and there's a few religious things I need to fix, like Abyssinia and a base conversion has no religion because it it doesn't do my apposite right. So I'm just going to make them orthodox. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I'm going to take this province away from them. Because uh, I'd like this to be as much of an EU4 um, thing as possible, where uh, a base EU4 experience is possible, where, you know, they actually have to do at least this province so they're not bordering Swahili and just kill them. Same thing's going to be true over here, and I'm going to mod a couple of the things down here just to protect some of these African provinces. <clears throat> These two provinces are not um, are not uh, populated in EU4, so I'm going to fix that. Um, nothing is different about any of this. I didn't have Sunset Invasion activated, so all that's fine. And uh, as I expected, 
the Holy Roman Empire is, is doing some weird stuff. Now, I, I'm going to have to change the Germany thing. I'll probably make them Brandenburg based on where they're placed. Because they are the Union State for the rest of the German states. And I need to fix that. Um, other than that, I'm going to be deblobbing a few things, making a few things better. Oh, and I'm going to have to take Russ away, too. Um, basically balancing the map to make things easier for other people. Oh, and yeah, and this crap is up here. <laughs> uh, so you're going to see a lot of the, you know, one province things go away, and, and I'm going to bridge the gaps between a couple of things. Not, not these here, but uh, some of the other ones, like, like Finland, I'll probably give them this province to make them um, contiguous to be a little bit more fair to them. I give Finland a little bit of a chance to do stuff. Um, and basically just try to fix it. And you'll notice Moldau. That was here. <laughs> Another thing is they put Perm in the Muslim tech group properly. But I'm not sure if they should be in the, in the Muslim tech group. Maybe they should be in the Eastern tech group. I'll have to think about that. Now, uh, one of the things you'll notice is that Timurids are here. Yay, Timurids. <laughs> and they're tiny. That does not stop them, I would think, from overrunning the people they usually overrun. Uh, I'm not sure. But um, most of the people they attack are kind of tiny nations early in the game. Uh, I'll probably change our name in the conversion uh, to be the... Um, the Persian Empire. Uh, and you'll notice we already have the Persian ideas. I think that's fine. Some of them are have references to being Muslim, but I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and basically, we're just going to, you know, fix a few things on the map. And then I'll, I'll come back with a, a draft of that. So, I've been working on it, basically, uh, on and off over the weekend. And this is what I've come up with for our start. Now, uh, this isn't going to be final. Maybe. <clears throat> it'll, it'll look pretty similar, probably. But this is what we've got. Okay, Persian Empire in the Ottoman Tech Group. As uh, when I, you know, th that's where it put me. So that's fine. Which is odd, because I still have Iraqi Arab. And that's still my, my capital, I believe. Um, I... Enlarged Syria a little bit. I give them these three provinces here. Um, and there are some of them that are our vassals, and some of them that are not. Ascalon is our vassal. Um, the Zoroastrian Church is our vassal, which I made them in the Ottoman tech group rather than the Western tech group because they have Constantinople. Turkestan is our vassal, and I believe that is all. <coughs> I was gonna think. I was thinking about making Syria. Oh no, uh, Syria is a vessel. Okay. I also changed any instances of, of um, absolute monarchy to despotic monarchy because uh, absolute monarchy is a, a very powerful one that you get later, <coughs> and some of them just converted as feudal monarchies, which is fine. Now, um, these guys are all independent. And Georgia is independent. I had to modify a few things to give them this province. It was actually quite difficult to get that to work. Um, otherwise, it would have been us having this huge thing go whoop up there. And it looked really stupid, so I gave them that. <coughs> so, uh, you'll also notice I changed a few things. And I think I cut a little bit too deep over here with what Russ was. I, I The way I did this was I went into the game... And, oh, you'll notice the Immortals up here. Hey, Immortals. And I, I balance the Cumania and Actobi starts a little bit. Because a lot of the provinces that they have are based on weird border provinces. So, um, it's kind of odd. Uh, anyway, the, the way I did this was I went into there and I... I trimmed provinces one way or the other. This this should have all these right here, and I, I didn't um I didn't do it right somehow. It should have this ring of provinces here, and 
I don't know if it had this stuff down here. I, I forget how exactly that happened. I did that a while ago. Um, everything else is pretty much the same um, as it was in the conversion. I took some things that are completely, like, weird and changed them. I, I did this. I haven't fixed Africa yet. But I did make the provinces that are not... Um, there are some provinces in here that aren't... Um, that aren't... So what I'm looking for here. Um, populated when the game begins. But I was only really worried about the provinces like this. The Warkids have like very tiny, like non-good provinces over here. And I'd like to give the African countries a, few, a little bit of a break. So, uh, I'm gonna, you know, be fixing that. Um, and basically, yeah, see, I made Germany Brandenburg. And basically, um, I still want to do a few more things. So, I'll probably be starting doing this later in the week. <coughs> I, I want to give myself a couple days of a break and, and give it a little bit of a time for people to like give me ideas or something. Uh, I do want to show how I did this for one thing, so I'm going to be doing that um, probably right after this. And... Um, I don't know. I, I guess I still want to leave the leave the idea of playing somebody else open. Now, while playing Persian Empire was the idea and is what I not only intend to do, um, if enough people tell me that they want me to play somebody else, I can. Whether I'll be successful at that or not is anybody's guess. But uh, there's a lot of successor states and Zoroastrian states that I could play. Um, but I'm guessing that most people are just going to vote for me to play for Persia, which is what I'm expecting. But uh, I just want to leave that open. I could play, you know, anybody. Is it Moldau? I want to play Moldau. Because I hate Moldau. <laughs> I don't want to see them succeed. I hate them so much. Um, so I want to leave that option open. Actually, anybody, anywhere. If, you, if, if I get enough people saying, yeah, I'll play um, Hungary, I'll probably do it. But I, I fully expect everybody to say, yeah, I play version. That's the point. And that was the point. Um, okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much going to be the final map as far as, you know, um, things go. I might tweak the islands a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've already given Constantinople to the Zoroastrian church and I had to give the other provinces to Greece to give them this and you'll notice that some of them are, are using the suffixes and some of them are using the uh, country names I'm not sure why and then there's this little duchy down here I decided not to make this my vassal because it sucks and it's stupid <laughs> and you know it'll give the other people something to fight over uh, Ascalon is a merchant republic. I put them in the Ottoman tech group with us because they were pretty uh, pretty high on tech. And everybody uses the Persian ideas because uh, you know that's how it, that's how it rolled when things go in. And I tweaked a couple of the things, the non-vassal things, to not be Karen, but not these two. I think I just did that with Anatolia. Yeah, I just did that with Anatolia. Uh, so, I'm going to... show them something else. Okay, so, this is the end conversion. You can see I've already done a bunch of stuff. Ooh, spoilers, I did stuff with Iceland. Um, so... I'm just going to basically show you how I did my conversion stuff just by using Crusader Kings 2 and the base converter. Just because I think it's uh, it's worth 
noting, um, I am using mostly the base converter to change the map, but I'm going to go back and fix a few things that I had to fix. So, uh, in, in fact, it didn't keep the wars, uh, which I thought it would, but um, that's fine. So, uh, basically, the way you do this is you use the console. So, say I wanted... Um, I wanted to make sure that even at uh, lower crown authority, I would keep um, something like Kiva or Turkestan. Now, this is a bad example because I can't actually remember what the name of the tags are for these off the top of my head because they're like Karakin and, 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 and stuff like that instead of Kiva and Turkestan. So I'm, I'm not going to bother with those. But um, let's say at the Duke level, you wanted to have these duchies for yourself so that some of your other duchies, for example, these over here, would be, you know, um, done. Would be in, would be independent while these ones wouldn't be. Um, and, and in fact, that is the case because I have, because I have the king of um, Persia at higher than minimum crowd authority. They will be independent while these ones will not be if I put my crown authority low enough. So, uh, a lot of things, for example, you can just do um, in the normal course of the game. And now, I tried to make as little time pass as possible. So, for example, say you wanted to give Calipolis and Thrake to um, Greece. Well, the easiest way to do that would be to tran to uh, grant landed title to them and, you know, be done with it. And that's that's what you would, you would normally do. But, for example, um, for some reason, if I try to give Constantinople to them... Oh, it does work. Oh, I, if it, it's if I try to give him more than one province. Um, then it does that. It, it won't let me do that. For some reason. Because, uh, it was, it was this guy, I think. Yeah, it was this guy I couldn't do anything. Because it won't let you create, um, more than one province things. I'm not sure why. But uh, how you do this is in the console. So, as you can see, I, I kind of messed up the conversion of Rust. just kind of disappeared. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Because that, that should still be there as, as some kind of name. And, and Tever is, is basically in the same shape it was. So, for example, um, let's just use... Oh, right, okay. Um, say we wanted to fix Britannia. So we go in the console. And the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, have... do that care info all and uh, just type that into the thing and we'll bring up some debug info the main thing is the ID there and it brings up some other informa information um, that would be useful while you were playing the game but I mean this is cheating so I would I'd never use that unless I was you know doing some kind of gimmick thing so say we wanted to fix Britannia okay one of the easiest things we can do is we can go to Britannia we can look at him, and oops, we look at his thing, and we could switch to him by saying play, and then typing in his uh, his code, seven one four 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 five, and then we switch to him. Now notice we have a bunch of options here. I don't really care about them. Um, we've got a few problems with Britannia. Namely, that they are Britannia instead of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, I'm going to change them to the Holy Roman Empire wholesale, just because it makes my life a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> but I might, you know, switch the localization to, you know, fix a couple things. Um, so, one of the easiest things to do would be to give him the title of the Holy Roman Empire. So what you do is just say give title... And you have to have an underscore between given title. E, which just stands for emperor. Uh, actually, it has to be a lowercase. And then HRE. And then give it to him. 
Did I do it? Oh, I, I missed a four there. There we go. So now the Holy Roman Empire is given to Emperor Edward the Holy. Now, if you convert now, it works fine, uh, but it calls you the... It, it calls you Britannia, even if you don't. So, uh, one of the things you can do is you'll notice that uh, all of his titles have Gablekind. Well, you can't destroy titles while in Gablekind. Um, but what one of the things you can do um, is you can switch to... Alright, like this. Make this your primary. And that'll change you to the gray one. Uh, it still says Britannia because the thing hasn't uh, refreshed itself. It'll do that if I save and reload. And um, in a normal universe where you weren't the AI who completely sucks at, at doing things, you could uh, switch out of Gablekind and destroy this title. Now, in the conversion, I've already done that. Um, oops. Because, no, just to make it so that it was that it, it was working properly. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do with the console. You can turn the con you can turn the um, the things on and off. You can give individual provinces to individual people. Here, I'll show that off. Okay, let's um, let's say give these two provinces to um, the Shah of Cumania. So one of the one of the things you can do is you can uh, you could just push up to go to the last command, and then so he's seven two four six five nine. Okay, and each each level has a different uh, prefix. So for baronies, you would put B underscore. Um, for example, here we want to use C underscore for county, and then underscore oozes. Wrong number of arguments. That means I put too many spaces in there. Oops. There we go. And see, it gives it to him. Now, obviously, you can do this while playing to um, give yourself provinces. And there's a lot of debug commands that are only really unlocked for developers. Uh, one of the things I did, for example, was I got rid of this province uh, and gave it to Perm. Now, there's some things you can't do for some reason. Um, oops. Like, you can't just... There's no console command for granting anybody independence. I guess they were just like... Like, oh, you, people are only really going to use this for cheating, so <laughs> let's not make it make, make the game harder for them. Wait, what's going on? Oh, um, and there's there's a bunch of things to fire off events and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't done any of that. I'm, I'm I, I basically just changed the map a little bit, so you can see how that the, something like this can make a major difference in the conversion. Um, big enough that it, it ended up making Russia disappear completely, and I'm not sure how. Um, oh, see now it uh, switched to Holy Roman Empire. Um, and the conversion, it will still um, make the people who own it Britannia, which is odd and weird, so I took that away. Otherwise, it works fine. Uh, no, it makes them Great Britain, which is weird and stupid, because they have they own, like, four provinces. <laughs> so, um, so that's fine. It can't be Great Britain and own four provinces. That's dumb. Um, I really j basically showed everything you can do on here. I'm basically just using the converter. Let's go in here, clicking on export game, and it'll say, well, when you switch to somebody else, which is a, a tactic I use to give a lot of things that have the same start date, um, it's just to switch to somebody else and then convert. It doesn't really matter because EU4 doesn't keep track of who you've been playing. Um, so, for example, I'd switch to... Um, Iceland, do some stuff with Iceland, switch to Amalfi, do some stuff with Amalfi, switch to Perm, do some stuff with Perm, and just basically fix things that I'm wanting to fix. 
that are wanting to fix. Um, but uh, unfortunately, there's no independence command. And there's no easy vassalize command, nor is there a command like in most of the um, Paradox games where it makes... Uh, diplomacy work automatically so that I can do things um, um, like, I don't know, switching vassals to people a lot easier because the vassalization command doesn't uh, work. It says it's only for developers or something. So, anyway, um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get into the the actual nitty-gritty of changing the text files at the moment. I might. Uh, we will see. It depends on how long this is. Um, I might save that for a later video. But that's basically how I did the bulk of the modding to the map itself. With the exception of things like this, in these provinces, you can't do that in, in, in this. Um, you can't take provinces away and make them unoccupied. But other than that, I basically just came in here, switched a bunch of provinces, um, and then after I got it to a conversion state that I liked, then I started switching things with the the um, the text files, which is actually quite a bit easier uh, than trying to figure out how to do things in here. But I, I feel it gives a, a smoother conversion, um, and it makes things... Oh, one of the other things I did was I changed how much money people have, like... Superman here has like bajillions of dollars and I don't have bajillions of ducats and uh, yeah the, the rate of inflation in this because there's not money, much things to spend money on money's a lot more important in the EU4 so I had to fix that I had to fix that bad um, other than that I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show oh, one of the ways I had to fix um Georgia here is I had to take some provinces over here that are technically part of um, I think it's this province they're technically part of Persia and give it to them so that way they have their proper coastline on the the dastardly Caspian Sea uh, I think that's pretty much it um, I'll probably make another one of these and I'll probably uh, do a couple other things and then we will get started probably later in the week with this uh keeps giving me your ideas and you know telling me if you want me to play as certain people i'm imagining everybody's just gonna have me want have me playing as persia which is fine um and uh, like i said but don't be disappointed if i don't use some of your ideas i do listen though so i appreciate that and uh i'm gonna keep working on this so I will see you later.